right, all right. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Hope and pray everybody's doing well on this beautiful, blessed day. For this is another day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be so glad in it. As you can see the title up there, we're talking about food in this video. And you have so much confusion behind food. What we can eat and what we cannot eat. And Big Mike, I'm going to answer your question in this video because you asked me in the email, why can't I eat shrimp? Uh, why can't I eat these type of, you know, different types of seafood and so on and so on. And why is there so much confusion? Uh, I'm going to tell you why, Big Mike. Because when you study the Old Testament, most people don't look at when God was talking to Israel. And I'm going to tell you why there is so much confusion. And once again, I'm not here to debate or cause confusion, but most people stop reading on those scriptures. They don't keep reading because God also says, pray over it and I will sanctify it. Now, we are all different around this world. We are all different, brought up different. And it's like people in the country, if they didn't kill no animals, they didn't eat. You killed what you was going to eat. And when you fast forward to nowadays and look at how times is getting and, and look at how um, when you go in the grocery store, everything is so expensive. I'm going to tell people in this video, them canned goods going to start looking mighty good after a while. Yes. Now, the things that you hate going to start looking good after a while because you're not going to be able to buy hmm, or do anything unless you have that mark of the beast. And I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm just, I'm just here to speak what's real and get out of the way. Now, let's get into this about eating. And I believe that's in Leviticus. I like to call that God's little plan for Israel, the nation of Israel. When God gave the instructions to Israel on what to do because God didn't want Israel to look like nobody because he wanted Israel to be different because Israel was God's chosen. So in those laws, it included against eating pork, uh, shrimp, shellfish, and many types of seafood. Most insects, scavenger birds, and pretty much various other animals. Now, if you look at this, it was intended to apply to Israel. No one else other than the Israelites. That's why you got confusion right there because now you got people telling you, oh, you ate a piece of fried, one piece of fried chicken and you're going to hell behind that. Oh, uh, you can't have this, you can't have that. And people don't understand the purpose of the food laws was to make them different from the other nations so they can be better because once again, Israel was God's chosen. But after this purpose had ended, Jesus fulfilled the law. Jesus declared all foods clean in the book of Mark 7 and 19. Now, somebody going to say, well, is that contradicting the Bible? No, you have to understand what Jesus was talking about. See, God gave uh, Peter a vision in which he, you know, pretty much declared that formerly unclean animals could be eaten. But he said, do not call anything impure that God has made clean. See, you got to catch that. That's why I say when Jesus died on the cross, he fulfilled the Old Testament law. But most people want you to keep living under the under the old law and they don't really understand the law. Now, I'm not saying this to contradict the Bible. You have to understand there is different things, just like sacrificing animals. You don't have to do that no more. Jesus fulfilled that. And I hope that it's not confusing to somebody. That's why you can't make somebody eat what you eat or what work for you? you. You know, you got... Now, let's say this. The Bible teaches us in the New Testament, the New Covenant, to present our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. We know better. We know our body. We know what to put in our body and what not to put in our body. This is why you don't supposed to drug up your body. You don't supposed to overeat. You don't supposed to do a whole lot of things. We know what's right and we know what's wrong. We choose to make foolish mistakes. And I always tell people like this, most people I know that eat right and don't smoke and don't drink and do everything, those are the ones that die first. And the ones that you think will leave before them, they outlive you. They outlive them. And you ever wondered that? Because, see, we are all different. We don't know when we're going to die. But we do know that the, the Lord holds tomorrow. And Romans teaches us that not everybody is mature enough to understand and the faith to accept the fact that all foods are clean. Well, God created animals. Now, I know that, that, that might sound contradicting, but it's not. That's why he said 
pray over it, and I'll sanctify it. But that's the part of the Bible that people skip over. They just look at one part. Oh, you eating shrimp. You eating pork. That's why the Muslims eat right. That's why I can I can respect the Muslims because one thing they do, the Muslims, they eat clean. They really do. And there are people sitting up that just punish their body. But you have to understand the law and understand what was said, what was for Israel. Now, I hope that made sense and I cleared that up in so many ways. I always tell people like this, you can eat what you want. It's just like sex. We make sex a bad thing. But who created sex? Who created marriage? God. And it's just like how people abuse weed. I'm just being real in this video. Weed was 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 back then, even to this day, a lot of people smoke weed for their glaucoma. But now you got people abuse weed, just like wine. You got people that can just know how to drink a glass of wine or two with their meal. And they all right because wine is good for the blood. That's why I say wine is holy. But we done took wine and abused it. We done took all these things. You got people being drunk now. You you have to understand what takes. If you got something that's controlling you, that's that's overpowering you, you need to leave it alone. This is why, in other, in other words, this is why when you are around certain people, you don't cause your brother or your sister to stumble. That's why the Bible say everyone is not, in Romans it say everybody is not mature enough to understand and the faith to accept that all foods are clean. So I'm talking about what most preachers are going to skip past. I know most preachers that sit up and eat all kind of fat, greasy food. <laughs> they, they sit up and they, I mean, they eat like crazy. See, there is a, a word in the Bible called gluttony, I believe, which is overeating. This is why obesity is taking over. You got so many people that's overweight. See, all the people we grew up with, kin folks and, and, and people that have passed, grandparents, everybody, they was brought up on all that food that most people hate. And like I say, they outlive most people that eat healthy. I always, it's just like I always, I was telling Pop the other day, I don't smoke. And when I do drink, it's every blue moon. And I said, I work out every day. I said, but yet and still, I'm the sickest one out of everybody. I'm the one always down. I'm always in and out of the hospital, and I don't understand it. But like I say, it's not for me to understand everything. I can do all I can to prevent from getting sick and, and eating right, and I still fall down. Things happen to me. Y'all remember the time a few years back when I was I lost so much blood. I was in and out of the hospital. I was I was way down. I thought I was dying. But God brought me back. This is why I say I don't have a problem with eating fish. I don't have a problem every now and then I want to eat me a hamburger or I want to eat some some greens or whatever. Because I don't let I don't abuse food. I know how to eat and stop. And I eat I try my best to uh to eat right. This is why you got a lot of baked food. Uh, I, I eat a lot of baked food, and I'm not trying to get off in this video talking about what all I do, so let me get past that. You do what you do to survive. And like I said, it's going to come a time when people ain't going to be able to eat them steaks and taters every day. And I was talking to my boy, Minister Robinson, a while back, like he fought for the country. And many men and so many of y'all, y'all probably can relate to this. He was telling me that, now listen to what I'm saying, he fought for the country when they was at war. He was telling me that, Times came when they missed a drop of food. And it would, it would be, I don't know how long before the next time they could be able to eat. So they had to find whatever they had to eat to survive. They had to find whatever to survive. That's why I say those canned goods going to start looking good to people out there a while. Them beans and weenies going to start looking good to you. That bologna sandwich going to start looking good to you. See, we was brought up on what we had, Pop, didn't we? We ate what we had to eat because money was tight. And you know what? Money is still tight. But you know what? I can recall never missing a meal. Hmm. So it's up to you who you are. You know, now, let, let's go a little bit deep with this because if you are around somebody who will be offended by your eating and they think it's unclean food, we should give up our right to do so we don't offend another person. But I tell people in a minute, it's like me. If I'm going to drink a beer and I know my partner was stumbling with drunkenness, I'm not going to drink around him. I'm not. But I tell people in a minute, that's you. 
I don't have a problem with drinking. I don't have a problem with eating. That's your problem. I, on my own time, or it, it, it depends on who I'm around, I'm cautious with what I do, but I do what works for me. We have the right to eat whatever we want. Why you say that? Because we got free will. You got a right to eat whatever you want. You got a right to do whatever you want, but we do not have the right to offend other people, even if they are wrong. And that's the, the part I want to just really bring out. You know, like I say, when you look in the new covenant, covenant, excuse me, and the Bible, you think about eating. Well, we need to be eating this word. That's what you should be really concerned about. Eating this word, this bread, this real bread, the word of God. That's why I say if you are unable to control your eating habits, well, then you got a problem. If you are unable to control your eating habits, then you're probably going to also be unable to control all your other habits. See, it's all in the mind. That's why you can't control lust, being unrighteous. You can't control your hatred, your anger. You are unable to keep your mouth from all this gossiping and, and, and cursing folks out. We are not to be like that, people. That's why anything that takes control of you and, and it's, it's making you crazy, you don't need to be around it nor do it. So you eat what you want to eat according to how you look at things. You can't drill off of somebody's head that, though, you need to be doing this. You, you know what? I could go eat one burger, and I probably ain't ate a burger in about four months. And you know what somebody going to do? Put me in the hell. If I have wine in my hand, somebody going to put me in the hell. Not knowing that wine is good for the blood? Yes. So I just wanted to say that, and uh, maybe I'll do a part two on this to go a little bit deeper. You got to look at what was told to Israel. And a lot of people want to go up, they want to use the Daniel fast. And, and oh, I'm fasting for 21 days. And they starving themselves, and they sitting up pale in the face, and they head hurting. And they just, they just being ignorant of the word. Because fasting is not starving yourself. Fasting can be you fasting anything. So I talked about this a while back. So hope this can answer your question about unclean foods and what to eat and what not to eat and what God said to Israel. But like I say, you know your body. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. Don't be sitting up eating all this fat fried food and stuff every day that you knowing that can kill you. So you got to know how to eat your vegetables and and you know, and, and things, drink your milk or whatever, what, that, whatever works for your body. Because I say we are all different. So peace and stay blessed.